Yeah, gang, 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 I'm back, man. The nigga had a morning coffee. You all already know, man. Top of the morning to the kings and queens out there. How y'all feeling? Had to wake the kiddos up, you know. For those of y'all that ain't got kiddos, man, you probably don't know. You probably can't relate. You know, I know a lot of motherfuckers out there. I got a lot of friends and buddies who ain't got no kids at all. So, you know, um, they never relate to what I'm saying when I do speak about the kiddos. They try to, you know what I'm saying? They try to put a little... Oh, okay, I understand what you're saying, but yeah, it don't be like that. Um, yeah, man, strengthening your faith, gang. Strengthening your faith, gang. No matter what you do, how you do it, strengthening your faith. Always be a, um, a God-fearing person. Get to know God. Learn the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Learn your faith, learn that shit. This something maybe I should have dropped yesterday because it was Sunday, but it's okay. Today, Monday, you can talk about the Lord any day, gang. There's nothing wrong with that. Talk about the blessings he done. Talk about the blessings he have sent you and gave you. Talk about the um, times he saved you out of hardship times and, you know, through battles you felt like you couldn't walk through. Talk about the times he actually took you through those battles and he was with you every step of the way. That's what strengthening your faith to me looks like because as you sat back and you reflect on those things that took place, those events that, you know what I'm saying, took place at that hand of time, it's sort of strengthening your faith in the Lord himself because you know that, yeah, he was the one that was there that helped you take care of those situations. He is the one that's going to help you take care of every situation, no matter what situation you go through. You know, hey, gang, another thing, if y'all looking, right now you see my eyes about low as fuck. That mean I'm chopped. I ain't sleep. I'm chopped. Eyes low as hell. And they getting kind of heavy, but it's all right. Yeah, at the end of the day, though, I peeped that shit from afar. Like, man, I strengthened my faith. Since I was a shorty, you know, like the foster system shit fucked all that up because when you up in there and you ain't with your people and your family, you sort of get this notion and you start thinking like, damn, everything going to go wrong and nothing ever going to be right. Get that cat out of my room. At the end of the day, gang, you feel me? I be like, you got to strengthen your faith. You got to strengthen it. Is that... Anyway, gang, yeah, you got to strengthen your faith, man. You know, humbleize yourself a little bit. Have a little more umph about yourself. Don't just be of whatever, you know, else that's popping off out here, gang. Love yourself. Know who you is. You know what I'm saying? Get to know God. Like I said, stand on that shit. Because a lot of motherfuckers out here ain't going to tell you that, and a lot of motherfuckers ain't going to want you to know that. They don't want you to be better than them. They don't want you to outdo them in no way, shape, form, or fashion. They don't want you to surpass them. I'm telling you, gang, I know this off experience. My nigga, these motherfuckers around me daily that I know, my nigga, whether family or not family, they don't want to see me make it. They never want to see me make it. They never want to see me win. They don't give a fuck when I come up or, you know, they really love when I'm down. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, um, I don't deal with them. I can't. I choose not to, gang. Choose not to. Only reason for the simple fact is them haters will bring my infrastructure down. The haters will bring my infrastructure down. You know, I'm still right now today trying to uh, alleviate the haters out uh, of the uh, battlefield I'm in. Y'all know I speak a parable, so, you know, work with me, gang. Fuck with me. But if you can catch my subliminals, then Coolio. Other than that, gang. Other than that, gang. I don't, you know, know what to tell the niggas, man. Look, at the end of the day, though, man. I'm on here, yeah, I got to hit this book up and share some of this shit right here. Because lately I ain't been on uh, Facebook sharing none of my videos. Hey, and I be telling you motherfuckers, when you get on there or if you on YouTube, nigga, and you watch my shit, go share my videos. Simple as that, go share my shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't be a stranger to my shit. Share that shit, nigga. I do the same shit to y'all, you know. If I don't, then I mean, probably because you wasn't doing it. No, I'm fucking with you, but. Who is that? Yeah, my son cat's going crazy, man. I don't know what the fuck. I think they ain't heated something. Something gotta be, you know. I ain't talking to you, son. Anyway, yeah, man. Um, Like I said, man. Just, just that's what you got to do, though. You got to humble yourself and, and strengthen your faith. A lot of you niggas ain't got faith in nothing. You women either. Y'all ain't got faith in nothing. 
A lot of y'all ain't got no belief system about nothing. You don't believe in nothing the motherfucker telling you, but you believe a stranger fast, quick in a hurry. You believe a motherfucker at your job, quick in a hurry. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it goes with that. That that shows, like, how much real, you know, realistic realness it is out here. It ain't much. It ain't much, trust me. You know? And, and, and due to the fact I know it ain't much, man, I try to stay away from that. Due to the fact that I know it ain't much, I, I try to stay away from that as much as I can. I try to stick to my own field and my own lane. I stick to my area in life. I stick to what I know best. You feel me? It ain't like, um, it ain't like I'm just, you know, vibing with what's to be vibed with out here, gang. That ain't the thing with me. I ain't doing none of that. You hear me? <laughs> Tavy. You go tell that girl, I told her to get down and come back down here. <laughs> anyway, you know, yeah, this 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 what I do, gang. I'm with the shorties. You know what I'm saying? Vibing school day out, so y'all already know how it is. You know what I'm saying? You already know how it gotta go. Wife at work. Um I'm just cooling though. I had to pop on because it seemed like I ain't been home in a minute. So y'all already know I got right on. Get out of that room. Hey, Zo, get them cats out of there. Get them cats out of there. Then my son seemed to never, I don't know what. Pooty. Right here. Yeah, come on, man. I don't need something to do one job. And, and, and he seemed to can't get this one job right. That's it. Then come on, sit down, man. If you did, come have you a seat, brother. At the end of the day, man, like I said, that's that's another thing, though, man. Y'all got to stay. Y'all dad, stick on them shorties, man. Stay in them shorties' lives, man. Hop on their ass. There's too many niggas out here I run around. I be seeing I run into daily, whether family or not family. They just running around doing what they want to do with themselves, gang, and ain't worried about them shorties. They don't give two shits about them shorties. I told you already to come have a seat down here. You heard me the first time. Once I told you to get down with that cereal. Yeah, at the end of the day, gang, it be, it be crazy out here, man. You know, we be watchful of it. You got to be watchful of it if you ain't. If you ain't, you got to, you know, it's, it's just something you really got to work with, gang. Something you got to deal with at the end of the day. Hey, though, to the next video, man, I ain't going to be on here long. I ain't going to hold y'all time for too long. And uh, yeah, I love y'all, man. Without y'all, it wouldn't be me, gang. I'm out.